Yeah. Mate, I'm so tired. Really? Yeah. Why, why are you so tired? Well, I know. Well, why oh, so I wonder why. It, it, could it have been the 11 hour <laughs> flight? Light. I mean, yeah. 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 Um, what, are you do what are you doing? Mate, I, I got myself a Diet Coke and it was a wrong move. I'm not. I need to convert this. I've got like. You've oh, got the jitters. I've got, well, I've got flying. Adding sugar to the jitters is not necessarily going to. This is going to be okay. Yeah. Oh, no, it's actually really nice. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, we should talk about the web. Yeah. Okay, so I. I was upset by something that happened uh, a few months ago. Mm. And it was, do you remember when... Um, Did it result in an argument on Twitter? No, I actually kept this to myself. I just got, I just got sad inside of myself. Oh, and I, I, I held it in, and this is me now you need, okay, letting it out. You've got to let it out because it can bring other problems in your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So Microsoft, yes. with the, the user voice thing where they were asking people, hey, like, what, what do you want us to work on? Yes. Um, I, and one of the I things like that, that, by the way. I think that was brilliant, actually. We should, we should probably do that. Uh, one of the things that shot to the top of the list was stop doing what you're doing and just use WebKit. Boo! I don't know. That's not. I don't think that's the right outcome. But but just the idea of them uh, stopping what they're doing and taking on another browsing engine that made me really sad because I really think it's the diversity of browsing engines which yes. which makes the, the the internet a better place. Well, we had this when we when we forked uh, to make Blink. Was it wasn't about one code base. One code base is not what, what you want because then you end up with stagnation. What mm -hmm. you want is standards. But I can understand why developers might want like a, a single browsing engine, right? Because it because it can be a pain sometimes, especially when you you develop a thing and you you, you know your wonderful work of art in a couple of browsers and then you go to the third one and it's turned it into some kind of expressionist modern art piece. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah like, I can oh. understand that. When I when I was working at a startup, I had a, a series of post-it notes on, on the wall, right? Right. One for each browser. Of what, like things to avoid or things? No, 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 it was just like post-it note, Internet Explorer, post-it note, Safari, Firefox, Was it to remind Opera. you to test in the browser? Was that what it was? No, or? no, it was because I'd, I'd be coding. Why did you have the list of post-it notes? Well, I, if you could shut up for a moment, <laughs> I might be able to tell you. I don't like and us jet lagged, Jake. <laughs> I know, we're not oh nice people God. when we're jet lagged. I had one for each browser on the wall, and then when my wonderful work was destroyed by a particular browser, I would be, but rather than getting really angry, I would just calmly stand up, pick up a Sharpie, walk over to the appropriate uh, post-it note, and just draw a tiny phallus. <laughs> <laughs> and then... I really genuinely thought it was going to be a grown-up little check mark. If you found out that it was your bug, did you apply <laughs> the appropriate diagram to self? Just to my own face, <laughs> yeah. Right. And and. And because this was back in the day, you know... Back in the day, and you've grown up since then, you wouldn't do that now, would you? you no, would, you, no you would, I still would do this, but here's the difference. is like back then, the Internet Explorer post-it note was... You were in outer space. It was riddled. Absolutely <laughs> riddled, mate. <laughs> but and I, but I, I do think, like, you know, modern-day Internet Explorer has really sort of turned over a, a, a leaf, but, but they, so that's, it made me really sad when people were sort of wanting, sort of really wanting a, a browsing monoculture. Because mm. we did have it with IE6 at the time. Yes. And, yeah, we did. And it was, it was actually awful, because the web stagnated. Yeah. We had a complete lack of progress for, for, for years. The diversity in browsers, it actually gives developers more power. Because if you, in a, in a monoculture, like say, say everyone went WebKit, like who gets to decide what features get implemented? Oh yeah, no, this is the stagnation. This is the monoculture thing, right? This is exactly, yeah. Yeah, the, it would be WebKit that decides. Yeah. In the same way that on like uh, native platforms, like it's Android that decides what, what features get developed. And I'm feeling this with, with Service Worker at the moment. I know, right? I know Hello, everything Service Worker Hello, One Trick Pony. Me, How have you been? It's only been half a day since we last spoke. Right. But at the moment, it's in Chrome, and it's going to be in Firefox yes. soon, and Internet Explorer look like they're, they're going to take it on as well. But Apple, we don't know. Mm -hmm. But this is, it puts developers in this position of power, because if they can make sites work faster in Chrome, Firefox, and you know, eventually IE, then Apple are going to look at that and they're, they're not going to, they, they, they have to go, well, we're not, we're not going to have this. We're not going to be the rubbishest in the town. Right. So we're going to have to implement Service Worker. Mm -hmm. And the people that made us do that is real world developers. It's brilliant. More power to developers. Yeah. And that's what multiple browser engines give us.